talked a lot about getting data into your vendor neutral archive, getting DICOM and non-DICOM, uh, but even beyond that, getting the image results, the lab results, uh, even medications and allergies can be stored in some VNAs. You know, how do we how do we then take that and make it accessible for 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 viewing and for sharing? Uh, a couple of things I would highlight when you're looking at VNAs and if you're looking for vendors to stream off of your VNA, you know, look at you know the standard today. You want a universal viewer and you want a zero footprint. I you know I like to educate, and some of you are probably more educated than I, but I like to educate a little bit on what it really is universal. You know, to me, there's two flavors of universal. There's universal format. Is that viewer support displaying DICOM as well as JPEGs and AVI files and MPEGs and so forth? But also there's a universal platform. You know, so does it work on a Windows? Does it work on your iPhone and iPad or your Android device? So two flavors of universal there, both universal format and universal platform. You know, from a zero footprint, there's also two flavors. You know, does that viewer have any clinical footprint? So as you stream images, video files, or audio files, or whatever it may be to that viewer, does it have a clinical footprint? If my laptop were to crash and boot back up, is there going to be any image file on that laptop? You, know, you, you don't want that to happen. You want it to be a zero clinical footprint. Same thing from an IT footprint. Is there anything to install? Um, <clears throat> You know, does it require Flash or Silverlight or some kind of ActiveX control to be downloaded? Uh, most of the new viewers coming out today require a modern browser through HTML5, and given you have an HTML5, there's no zero, there's zero IT footprint required. You know, along with clinical access to, you know, does it have a URL-based integration? Can it be launched from an EMR? And when it gets launched from an EMR or a portal, does it have proper authentication? And authorization mechanisms to to authenticate the user. Does it use uh, encrypted URLs or a direct API approach? And those are the types of things you want to you want to look at. Um, and and secondly, too, you know, beyond beyond the VNA vendors direct viewer, if they if or if they have one, you know, looking at those third party viewers, you know, how do they integrate off the VNA? You know, pretty much any viewer off of any VNA can can integrate through DICOM query retrieves. Most of them support Watto. You can do routing and prefetching to, to image enable those third party viewers. But you know, some of the more advanced ones are starting to do, you know, synchronous image level DICOM streaming or Watto RS or even Mint. Uh, so as you're evaluating different VNA vendors, you know, what protocols and standards do they support? Uh, and, and the viewers that you're evaluating, do they also support that? And then even beyond that, I call it the seamless approach. You know, we're starting to see more and more viewer vendors directly integrate to VNAs through APIs that go directly to a storage device. Uh, so, so obviously that's kind of the fastest and, and best option from a speed per perspective. Building on clinical access and sharing, you know, from an access perspective, you know, does that viewer, does it support displaying the medical images in their native formats, or again, does it require them to be wrapped in some format? Does it, do you need it to, and does it support displaying the medications and the allergies along with the along with the images? Does it support showing the image results along with the images, or maybe even the lab results? You know, does it provide you a timeline, and can you hang your priors side by side? And those are the types of things we often get requested. Um, from a from a sharing perspective, can you share via an e email or URL? And again, those URLs being time sensitive and encrypted and secure. Uh, can you deal with CDs and DVDs? You know, and I think you'll find some VNA vendors are better than others at at dealing with non-standard CDs and DVDs, uh, as well as PACs, EMR, and even clouds. You know, be able to share to Life Image or Emix or some other cloud-based sharing option.